the charmers are run with those archetypes with a big fan base, probably due to the waifu factor. Every charmer has a familiar, a monster, that helps her apply her magic. While the charmers were never meta relevant, that cannot be said about their familiars. The familiars are a set of level 4 monsters with 1500 attack and 200 defense. They have been released in different sets over the years, with Inari Fire being released in Cosmo Blazer. Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness in Duelist Alliance, Gigabyte in Secrets of Eternity, and finally Ranryu in Rising Rampage. Additionally, the first three were reprinted together in Masters of Pendulum Structure Deck. The cards were never used as a proper engine, more like extenders for rank 4 plays. The familiars are all tied in neatly together by the new Grand Spiritual Art Ichirin field spells from the Charmer Structure Deck. Anyway, let's have a look at the familiar monsters and the field spell. The most popular is Gigabyte. Like all familiars, the level 4 4 monsters with 1500 attack and 200 defense. His effect, which is shed between all of the familiars, allows the player only to control one copy of the familiar and ability to summon itself from the hand when a spellcaster is in play. His individual effect allows him to float into another familiar. Inari Fire is a level 4 fire pyrotype monster with the standard familiar effect. Its individual ability allows it to summon itself from the graveyard during the standby phase after being destroyed by a card effect. The Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefarious Nefariousness has an effect that allows him to destroy a monster the owner controls in order to special summon itself during the opponent's end phase. This works very well with the previously mentioned Inari Fire, and should the opponent summon, I don't know, a ball. This is the final familiar, the Winded Dragon Ranryu. It has the standard familiar effect, and its individual effect allows it to revive a familiar upon destruction. The field spell that ties everything together, Grand Spiritual Art Ichirin. Both of the effects are highly dependent on the spellcaster aspect of the deck. However, having a negation and the ability to search out the entirety of the engine is very nice. There is a little bit of an issue when it comes to the build of the engine. Since the familiars were never really used as one, there's nothing to build on. It's mostly due to the fact that they are seen as extenders. The figure can suggest is adjusting it to the deck it's going to be a part of. When it comes to pros of this engine, it's mostly that it provides amazing speed for rank 4 and link plays. Like everywhere, a strength can also be a weakness. The extender nature of the engine makes it so the player ends with little to no cards in the hand. Should the field produced be insufficient, a loss is 99% guaranteed. Single cards of the engine can be used as stacks in various decks, with the most obvious ones being Perform Rage, Yang Zing, and Metal Foes. When it comes to the engine as a whole, I suggest using it in a spellcaster focused deck. It would be welcome for the spellcasters to have different attributes. Things that come to my mind are the magician girls and of course charmers and that would be it thank you everyone for watching and if you liked it or learned anything new remember to leave a comment or a like share the video and if you fancy please tickle the bell and all the buttons around it anyways see you later on twitch tomorrow for the finale of the fallout new vegas lonesome road dlc bye